Hi folks, welcome back for more PGA Tour 2K21. And we've got a course for you tonight by B101. You just dropped it earlier on tonight and it is called Hot Loose. And we're going to have a look at the settings here. Now, going by the screenshots on Twitter, this looks, oh, I think we're in for a treat here. So the fairways are normal, the greens are normal, the green speed is medium fast, time of day is afternoon and the weather is overcast. And we are going to be playing off the green tees, 7,270 yards. Let's go into it. Oh, look at that, that looks very nice. Now, hot loose, or hot loose, whatever you, how you pronounce it. I actually looked it up, and hot loose is a commune in the Savoie department in the Averne Rhone Alps region in southeastern France. <laughs> so, there you go. Hot loose. Um, let's have a look at the plot here, shall we? Tell you what, I think he's picked the right uh, sort of weather for it. The I think the overcast skies with the the snow-capped mountains in the background looks absolutely bloody amazing. Now I said the last video I did of, of um, Ben's or B101s, I said it's probably the most designer that has sort of come along in the, the last sort of year or two with the uh, the way he designs courses and. Just by looking at some of the screenshots and just looking at some of this now <clears throat> and some of his um, YouTube videos as well. Yeah, he's got a uh, YouTube channel as well, B101, head over there. A lot of um, design tutorials over there. I think the last one he did actually, that I've seen, was how to do shallow water. And he's got quite a bit of shallow water by the looks of it on here. So yeah, head over to his YouTube channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to it. Let's have, go down here. Oh, look at this. Very nice. I mean, look, look at that for a picture. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to just take a little wander up here. We'll have a look at the clubhouse. Just check down that fairway as well. Look at that. Looks great. Yeah, as I said, I think he's progressed a hell of a lot uh, over the last year. Uh, the way he's been doing his courses. Now, you did mention that uh -huh, there was a, an Easter egg somewhere. Now, let's have a look down here. There's a little road that sort of just comes off here. And there you go. Little Christmas tree there. Two for one. Yeah, there's people in there. That's what actually we, we did today. Well, I didn't. The missus and the daughter went out. Uh, we've got a big manor house uh, close to us who actually do Christmas trees every year. Go Bowden House. And that's where they went today to get our Christmas tree. It's actually in the living room now, just sort of resting in its stand thing. You sort of got to give it, oh shit, you got to rest them. Just sort of let the, the branches sort of unfold themselves. I like the little crane he's got there, holding the Christmas tree up. Yeah, very nice. So I think that's the little Easter egg that you mentioned. I like the way he's done the, the decorations on the tree there as well. Yeah, very nicely done. So let's nip back over. And what a view. Looks like you've got a village down there as well. We'll have a look at that. Nice looking clubhouse. Now, he did thank somebody in his Twitter for the clubhouse, I think. I read this a good few hours ago, so if I'm wrong... <laughs> I do apologise. It might have been Energizer or somebody else like that. But this looks absolutely great. But to me, I think he's up there with the top designers at the moment, uh, B101. Especially for the, his, his, the natural look of the courses that he builds. I mean, you've got your likes of Arctic Fury and that, who do very, very sort of... Um, I wouldn't say fantasy, but... Not um, very, very natural looking. Oh, you've got a little sort of lodge down here on the lake. Very nice. Little table and chairs there, just sit out on the lake there. Little rowing boat. You see the steam coming out of there. Very nice. 
Okay, let's head back over. We'll just have a little runabout, take a little sort of jaunt down there by the village and have a look at that. I'll, have, I'll give you a closer look at this sort of shallow water work that he's done down here as well. Nice colour palette as well. Nice sort of lush green colour to it. Gives me your Christmas trees look. <laughs> Great looking course. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, as you can see, very nicely done with the sort of shallow water there with the, the terrain just sort of breaking through the water. The water. Uh, different levels of teas as well. It looks like quite a few of the, the fairways as well have got a slight sort of slope or camber to them as well, which is pretty good. So you're, you're not always off a flat line. Balls either below your feet or above your feet. It just makes the approach shots that little bit harder. So as I said, we'll take a little jaunt down here, have a look at the, the village, and then we'll, we'll get into it. I like the ways to put the grasses and that through there as well. Kind of looks sort of um, like icy. You've got the, the sort of whitey flecks through it. Yeah, it kind of looks icy. And you've got the running water there. Very nice. So we'll have a quick look at the village here. And then we'll get into it. Now it is now uh, the 1st of December. As recording this, it's what? It is two o'clock in the morning and the publishing window for the Dream Team competition was yesterday so you're going to gonna get some absolute stunning courses coming out over the next sort of week or two. And I'll definitely be getting quite a few of them done. That looks nice. Little planting boxes out there on the, the wall there. Just goes up to the, the hill and down the other side. Nice bit of rock work just down that area there. The fence just sort of follows the curve round. And again, you've got this sort of shallow water. The terrain just jutting through the, the water there. But look at the view. That is absolutely beautiful. Very nice. Okay, let's have a little look down this direction here. Let's have a little look at this bit here. Again, very well done, very well crafted sort of river system. Okay, let's head up to the first heat and we shall get started. Let's just zoom right up here. And there I am now, just waiting on the first tee. I mean, look at that for a view of the first hole. Lovely. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first hole is a par 5, 529 yards. The wind has dropped a little bit as soon as we came in. It was like 5, 6 mile an hour. It's dropped down to 2. Let's see if we hit a nice one off the tee. Slight fast, great fast, but that shall do. Again, he's got the snow-capped mountains so all the way around the course by the looks of it. Okay, not a bad drive, 318. That leaves us 223, 7 up, so that's 225 with a little bit of wind there as well. Slight wind, not a lot. Okay, again, slightly into the grey fast, but it should stay on the green here. I actually should run round towards the pin, there's a little slope there. We'll run there for two again. Lovely view down there by the lake. Okay, the green speed's 157. Got a slight turn right to left here. Oops. I was actually going to hit that too hard there. And we start off with a birdie. Nice one. Okay, hole two, par four. And this one's 463 yards, 39 feet down. 
I think we're going to have to drop this one down to three wood. It's definitely going to run out with the, the driver. Okay, we perfect, lovely. Also seen a couple of pictures um, a few days ago of a tiger back out on the, the practice range. Well, back on a course or whatever it was, but he's hitting a basket of balls. Nice to see him back out hitting some balls. But he did say in an interview that he can't see himself actually coming back purely competitively. He might just pick the odd tournament now and again to, to play in. Oh, a bit of a slow there. Which would probably be something like the Masters and things like that. But he's very lucky. He even said in the interviews that it wasn't quite 50-50, but almost that he, he could have walked out of there with just one leg. There was some open fractures that crash here. I wasn't even I wasn't even concentrating on looking what I was doing. <laughs> Uh, you know me, know me by now. I always, once I start chatting, I forget what I'm doing. Right, what have we got here? 13 feet 2 inches up. Uh, we'll probably end up with a bogey here. Oh, yep. I should have watched what I was doing with that little chip shot. It was a downhill chip shot. A bit more concentration when I'm taking my shots. Okay, we've got here another part four, 380 yards, 34 down. Let's see, three wood. Well, I might make it over there. You've got a slight camber there. Now, the three wood's gonna hit it and it's gonna just sort of peel off to the, the left there. So I don't know whether the driver's definitely not gonna make it. I don't think the three wood's gonna make it over there. So I might just actually drop it down to the five wood. Again, she has to slide fast in the grey. It should be okay. It should bounce a little bit over to the left here. And it does. Yeah, I think the three would probably would have run out. So I think that's the right club to play. I don't think we would have got over the bunker there. And that leaves us 127. So that's not too bad, actually. Let's bring that right down. She's got that wind. And we've also put on a bit of a slope. Again, bloody slight fast. Should be okay though. Gives a chance at a birdie. And that is 18 feet 4 inches down. Oh, that's turning way too much. Again, lovely view down the fairway there. Okay, fourth hole, got another par five. All right, let's see if we can pick a birdie back up here. I'm gonna aim it down this right-hand side. Okay, we get the perfect, lovely. It's gonna be a nice drive again. It's gonna hit, just bounce slightly down to the left here, I think, yep. I would have liked to have been more left, but I didn't want to take it to the left-hand side of that bunker there. It would have been a better angle than the green, to be honest, but it should be okay. Okay, let's knock this down to the six iron. Again, we're on a bit of a slope here. I'd like to get it to hit just right at the front of the green there. And catch that little slope. Okay, we get the perfect. So it's turning that little bit. Might not catch the slope though. Oh, 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 didn't even make the bloody green. Right. That's a bit better. Uh, we should pick up the birdie here. Get a nice view of the, the little village there. Okay, fifth hole, par four, 447, 19 up. We should be good with the driver here. 
just off perfect. That's going to be nice. All the sight lines are really nice as well. Gives you a good look at the hole. Not a bad drive, 316 yards. Lovely looking approach shot here over the river. Okay, 132, 21 up, so that's playing around about 139. We've got that wind as well. Let's put it to about there, I reckon. Oh, slight slow. That should be okay. Says so up for a birdie putt. Yeah, I'll have to jump over to TGC Tours Forum and see what the dream teams are this year. I haven't had a look. I was just going by what they were saying on Twitter. Oh, that's Pacey, is it? Oh, I shouldn't have missed that. That should have been another birdie. Okay, first par three, sixth hole, 173, nine down. Okay, so it's playing around about 170. Okay, we get the perfect turn in nice. Oh, just a little bit too hard, but it should stop pretty quick. And again, gives a chance a birdie putt. Oh, I'm underestimating these slight slopes on the greens. Gonna have to start even just a little bit further. But we'll take the par. Okay, seventh hole, par four, three sixteen. Okay, where is the hole? There is over to the left. So we're going to play it down here. Five with driver. Oh, ho, ho, if that wind was gone the other way, we probably would have went for that. But that is very tempting. But no, we're going to play over here. Just going to hit the five wood down here. Ah, shit. Massive fast. That's not going to make it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh dear, why when there's water I do things like that? Just drop it there. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, that's better. Hopefully it's close. Get on the green, get on the bloody green. So that just leaves a little chip here, come on. Go, go, go. Yes. Nice. What a save. What a save. I'll just mute while I have a quick drink. Okay, nice little chip. Yeah, the reason why I mute my mic when I'm having the drink is because I've got like a big cup with a straw in it. You don't want to hear me sitting, sucking away on a straw. <laughs> okay, another par three here, 194, three up, so it's playing 195. That should be okay. Come on. Oh yeah, I felt that one. It's gonna stick the green though. That would have been nice if I hit that. Yeah, I suppose all shots would be nice if you hit them nice. <laughs> right. Quite a big turn on this one. A bit of yellow there as well. Okay, 35 feet, one foot up. As long as it doesn't go too far past. Oh, that might be short. Yep, I thought it would be. It'll take part. I do like these sort of, the, the old sort of Swiss theme as you used to call it. I'm not, can't remember what they, I don't know what they call it now. I don't think it's a Swiss theme where it might be. Or it's the Alps theme. Okay, par five, ninth hole. 
slightly uphill here and I want to try and get a little bit over here to the right hand side a bit further. Gives a good angle of the green. Nice, we hit perfect. Just under 300 yards. Okay, now can we reach the green? I think we can. It's going to be dodgy now. The wind. Tell you what. Let's Okay, it's perfect. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's just going to peel away to the left there. Almost. Not a bad shot, though. That'll do. Pick up the pie. No, birdie. Pick up the birdie here. Lovely. Okay, three under, not too bad. Just one blemish on the scoreboard there. Choose a school card. Driver. Now we can reach that, I reckon. But I've got here a good one. Oh, we hit a bloody peach. Get in there. It might go over to the right-hand side of the green, though. Oh, there's a slope there. It's going to turn it. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, it's so blooming close. If I hit the top of that slope there, it probably would have got down pretty close to the, the hole there, I think. Okay, let's see if we can get this. We've all got 37 feet, one foot down. Oh, that's pacey. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. Should have been so close to that pin there, the hole there. Should have been an easy birdie. Oh shit. Pardon my French. <laughs> Just smacked that right past the hole. Uh oh, come on, get in. Okay, we get the par, but that, that should have definitely been a birdie. Okay, the wind's picked up 10 mile an hour against us here. Again, beautiful looking hole. And we get it perfect. Lovely. Absolutely stunning course. Okay, we've got a lot of wind here. And we're on a slight slope as well. Okay, slightly into the grey, but it's not too bad. It's going to be past the pin, though. 101%. Slight slope there. It's going to stop it. Might even come back a little bit. Nope, just stayed there. So we've got another downhill putt here. It's only two inches down, though. Again. That looked very pacey there at the start there, but it's still down pretty quick. And we'll take the par. Okay, 12th hole, par 4, 493, 15 down. And we should be good with the driver. Now, can we cut this at all? Let's have a look. Oh, I reckon you can, you know. Just hold her, the transmission, the transition at the top, just a little bit. Slightly into the grey fast. That should make it over there. Oh yes. Plenty of room there. Nice big drive as well. Oh, 345 yard drive. Get in there. Slightly just off the perfect. It should be not too bad. Oh, 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 a little bit short though. I thought that wind would have pushed it just a little bit further. OK, 
Okay, up and over here. Keep turning. Go on. Ooh. A little ounce more weight on that, and that would have been lovely. Again, we'll take another par. String of pars on the back nine. Let's see if we can break that. Get a birdie here. Oh, look at that. And that is 18 feet down as well. If I hit this with the driver, it's going to go right over the top. So I think we're just going to hit the three wood down here. Should get over the bunker. It should just leave a nice little... Go on. Yep, just get over the bunker there. Oh, no, let's bring that back again. Okay, lovely, get the perfect. That should stop pretty quick. Again, got a little village there in the background. And you should pick up the birdie here. You should. Oh, but we didn't. <laughs> Wrapped up a lemon bowl. Another par. Okay, 14th hole, par four. All right, let's smack off this side bit here and it should run right down there. Oh, bit of a slow, fell that one actually. You could tell straight away. My tempo's absolutely garbage. But again, I, uh, I don't play enough to to warrant having a good tempo. As I think my last video was what, four days ago? That was the last time I played this. I'm playing maybe three rounds a week. Four, maybe five actually with my society rounds. I was actually busy this weekend. I didn't even get a chance to, to finish my society rounds either. 34 up, got a little bit of wind. So that should be okay there. Yeah, it's looking not bad actually. I'll do it, but I'm going to have to get a few more rounds in over the next coming weeks, as I said, with the Dream Team competition. I wanted to do a few more of the Parkland competition as well. Just didn't have the time. And I think the winner of well, that was already... Uh, let me have a quick look on Twitter. What should call it Twitter, not Twitter. Sound common. Twitter. <laughs> right, let me just have a quick scroll through because I'm sure the winner was announced earlier on today. Ah, there you go. Parkland Golden Age Design Contest. Champion is Rascal Wood GC, and that was by Matt F27. I'm not sure if I've got that on the channel, to be honest. I play played a few of Matt F27's courses. Not sure if I've got that one on. Right, that wins against us here. I don't actually want to play right about here. Just in case I hit a slow and it's going to be in this bloody bunker. So I'm going to play over here. Just slight left of the pin. But we get a bloody perfect. And I actually held down the transition just a little bit as well. Just to give it that extra bit of distance. 102%. Come on, see if we can get this one. Come on, get in. Oh, you son of a... She has missed it. And another par. Oh, it's a bird we've got before that, so that's not too bad. We did break that string of pars. Okay, par 5, 16th. Let's hit a boomer. Come on. Oh, yes. 102%. Perfect. That's going to be over 350, I think. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just 351. Ah, 
And that leaves us 248. I'm going to bring it back to the 5 wood. Maybe the 4 hybrid, actually. Quite a bit of a slope there, so I'm going to play it over here. Now, the way the green's feeding as well, if you can see that, this slope here. If we hit this nice, it could come up and just trickle down towards there. Hopefully. Oh, yes, we hit the perfect. Go on. Go, go, go. Come on, keep going, keep going. Right, I've got a chance here. Chance for an eagle. Go, go, go. Yes, you little beauty. Okay, 17th part three. Got a little bit of wind against us. It's slightly downhill. So we'll play it with a bit of loft as well. Oh, yep, fell that one. Slow and you straight away. Damn it. Come on, kick off there for us. Oh, it stayed there. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, uh oh, there's a slope. Stay, 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 stay. And it did. Oh, that was so close. That looks pretty straight, actually. Got a little bit of right to left and left to right. Damn it. Should have moved it more left. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. That's for bogey. What? I'm trying to think what I did now. I forget what I played. Oh shit. Oh, that was absolutely crap. <laughs> Double bogey drops us down to minus four. Still in the minuses. So it's not too bad. Okay, par four, final hole. A little bit of wind against us here. Over the river. Oh get in there. What a beautiful view of the final tee. What a course though. I absolutely love it. Okay, nine mile an hour. 197, 37 up. So that is playing around about 210. But then we've got that wind against us as well. Put a little bit of loft on it. Let's have a look at the green, which way is the green feeding. Okay, the green is feeding right to left as well, so. Sugar. <laughs> oh, that's gonna kick. That is gonna kick big. Hopefully the rough will stop it, and it does. Just want you to just have a little look at the river there. <laughs> Let's pitch this up, come on. Oh crap. Oh, we might end up with a bogey here. All right, let me just take a quick screenshot here, guys. For the thumbnail. And we'll turn the pattern grid off. There we go. As I always say, get rid of my cursor. I don't think I'm recording my cursor anyway, but just get out of the way of that. Get the clubhouse in, I reckon. We'll get that first fairway down there as well, in as well, I think. And a little bit of the, the river there. How's that? That looks nice. With the snow cat mountains there as well. Oh, that was so close. There you go, guys. That is B101's new course, or Ben's, and it is hot loose. Absolutely stunning course. That's probably one of the best courses I've played in quite a while, to be honest. 
I really, really enjoyed that. Give it a play. Uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.